Hi there, welcome to Peppy Civil Class. Today's question is under hydrostatic forces on surfaces, fluid mechanics. Okay, so the question reads a trapezoidal two meter wide at the bottom, two meter wide at the bottom and one meter deep has side slopes of one is to one. Okay. Now determine the total pressure, then the center of pressure on the vertical gate, closing the channel when it is full of water. So we have a trapezoid and we can see two shapes in this trapezoid. We can see a rectangular shape here, okay, and then half of triangles. So let's... Um, Calculate for the triangle, the rectangle. Then we calculate for the two tri uh, triangles. Okay, so solution. Now, for we are calculating for I total pressure, but for the rectangle. Yes, so the total pressure for the rectangle. Um, we have the length of the rectangle to be 2 meters and the height to be 1 meter. My um, sketch is not drawn to scale. It looks like a square, but it's a rectangle. It's not drawn to scale. Okay, forgive me. So, let's find the area which is equal to B times D. And we have our B to be 2 meters multiplied by the D, 1 meter, which is the depth, okay, 1. And this will give us 2 meters squared, okay. And now, let's calculate for our X, which is the center of gravity, okay. So, X is equal to half of our depth x is equal to half of our depth which is half yeah half of one is 0 0.5 meters okay now let me um explain it with a small sketch so we have this rectangle here it has a total depth of each okay then then the center with respect to the others passing through okay it's centroid so we have our b here and h over two half of this one x is equal to half of h so that's what we have here x here is equal to half of h so 0 0.5 okay or h over 2 and then h here is 1 so 1 over 2 that's how come we have 0 0.5 meters okay all right um then we calculate for uh, total pressure at 1 which is for the pre uh, the rectangle so p1 is equal to the weight multiplied by the area by the x now the weight is given as 9.81 multiplied by the area we have 2 meters squared by x 0 0.5 meters and this will give us a total of 9.81 kilo newton okay okay so now we know the pressure at a let's find the h h is giving us which is acting as the depth okay the total depth h here is equal to ig divided by a x plus x 
IG here is the moment of inertia of a rectangle, okay, with respect to the axis passing through the centroid. So, the formula for IG is BD cube divided by 12. We have B to be 2 meters, right? Multiplied by D to be 1 cube divided by 12. And this will give us 0 0.1667. Okay, 0 0.1667. So now we can calculate for our H since we have our IG. So H is equal to 0 0.1667. 0.1667 dividing a the area which is 2 multiplied by x 0 0.5 plus x 0 0.5 we have a total of 0 0.67 okay this is for the triangle let's calculate the same thing the total pressure for the rectangle and for triangle okay so I the second part is total pressure for um, triangles okay total pressure for triangles so the first step you find the area area is half b h right so a is equal to but we have um two two sides of the triangle so it's going to be two by half b h one by one okay so this will give us one meter square and like i said there are two triangles okay two triangles so let's just um from the diagram we have something like this then another part also like this okay then we have four meter here so meaning the rectangle is taking two meters one meter here and one meter here so we have one meter here one meter here and a height of one meter height of one meter so if i say um half bh the b is one meter the h is also one meter that's how can we have one one okay so two triangles then we calculate for the x x is also for the for the rectangle x was half of the h over 2 now the triangle is for the yeah for the triangle is h over 3 so we have our base b our height h if we cut a section through our x is h over 3 okay so therefore x here we have h to be 1 then over 3 so our x is equal to 1 over 3 meters now we can calculate for the area at the total pressure at 2 p2 is equal to w the weight multiplied by area x okay 9.81 multiplied by the area of one meter by x one divided by three okay and all this is going to give us 3.27 kilonewton so 
we calculate for h2 h2 the depth at 2 is equal to i g divided by a x plus x we have to calculate for ig alone the moment of inertia of a triangle the first one was moment of inertia of a rectangle this is of a triangle so ig is equal to b h cube divided by 36 we have b our base which was two right yeah two multiplied by the height which is one cube divided by 36 okay so let me just input this one straight away then we have two by one cube divided by 36 into brackets all dividing through the area the area we had one meter cube one multiplied by um x x was giving us one over three so one divided by three plus one divided by three this whole expression will give us 0 0.5 meters okay please cross check punch them on your calculators now h2 is given as 0 0.5 so the total pressure for the rectangle 0 0.67 and 0 0.5 ii the center of pressure the center of pressure on the vertical gate closing the channel when it is full of water so i i center of pressure h the center of pressure h taking moment about the top we have p multiplied by h is equal to p1 h1 plus p2 h um h2 yeah so p multiplied by h is equal to p1 h1 plus p2 h2 now making h the subject we have p1 we have p1 h1 plus p2 h2 all dividing p right p1 was given us 9.81 9.81 multiplied by h1 0 0.67 plus p2 h2 p2 three point two seven multiplied by h2 here 0 0.5 all dividing p okay we've not calculated for the p all right so let's just do it here so p is equal to p1 plus p2 now p1 we had 9.81 9.81 okay this is still i the total pressure we have to add the total pressure there pressure at a 
the pressure at 1 and the pressure at 2. So total pressure is equal to P1 plus P2, 9.81 plus P2, 3.27. And this will give us a total of 13.08 kilonewton. Okay. So therefore, we can put the total pressure here, 13.08. And this will give us the center of pressure H. The summation of this one is 0 0.62 meters. Okay, cross check. Yeah.